Hi, this is Miss Regina from Vocational Assessment Services at Roosevelt Warm Springs. Today, I am here to talk to you about finding the right job through your strengths, needs, and interests. Let's get started. How do we find the right job? Yes, we all have goals and dreams that we want to aspire to. We have jobs and dream jobs that we want to have. We also know that for many of these jobs, we just cannot start at the top of the ladder. We have to start at a lower level. How do we know what would be a good job for us? Some jobs will take more than just a high school diploma to attain. You may need vocational training, a certificate, or even post-secondary schooling, such as attending college. Some jobs require specific skills and abilities. We need to know about three things to find out what jobs would be a good fit for us. We need to know our strengths, needs, and interests. Over the next few weeks, we will learn more about these three ingredients for a good job. <clears throat> so, strengths. We also call strengths our contributions. These are the things we are good at and we do them well. Some examples of strengths may be personality traits or values that you are polite, friendly, or punctual and hardworking. Or strengths could be tasks that you are good at and do really well. Some examples may be that you are good at mowing the lawn, driving, planting flowers, fixing things that are broken, or even cleaning. Strengths may also be credentials, certifications, or awards you have earned. We will talk more about our strengths or contributions later. Needs. These are the things that we may need a little guidance, extra help or assistance with. Modifications or cha changes. Needs are the things we need in order to be successful in life, at work, and at home. In school, we call them accommodations. We like to call them conditions for success instead of needs. So let's look at it like this. I can do this job under the condition that I have someone to ask questions. If I have a checklist or a task list to keep me on track, I can do this job. Or if I can work at my own pace, I can do this job because I do not work well with the stress of deadlines. Or maybe I need to avoid doing tough math at work if I'm going to be successful. Let's think of some of the accommodations you had in high school. Then think of things you may already have in place at home. Did you need reminders? Do you need a task list? Or do you need a checklist with steps to follow to complete the task? Or maybe you need written materials read aloud for you. Any of these things would be conditions for success. Interests, we all know these areas. These are the things we enjoy. These are the things we like to do. These interests could be technology, auto mechanics, cleaning, reading, photography, or art. Most people really only have two or three strong interests. Later on, we will look more deeply into our interests and what makes us excited to go to work. So in summary, we need to look at these three things. We need to identify our strengths, our needs, and our interests. And these three things are the key ingredients to finding a good job. So, hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint. And I'll be back in touch soon. Bye.